believe we're doing this, but the absurdity of it is what makes it so extraordinary. And it's this juxtaposition of a car which clearly is designed and built for the road, but the driving experience is exactly like a 962. The emotion of it and the anger of it is everything you would hope it to be. There's a rotary knob just to my right here and on it is etched Das Boost. It's the turbo boost adjuster, of course, and it will take it from a basic boost of about 0.4 of a bar to a far, far more exciting 1.4, 1.5 bar of boost. Which means this car, which weighs a little over a thousand kilos, has somewhere in the region 650 horsepower. But that is more than sufficient, I would say. So, how was it? Wow, what a thing, what a thing. Yes. Pussycat or tiger? Both, definitely both. Definitely thanks to this. It's all down boost. to the boost. Yeah, low boost. It's like a 911 turbo, honestly. And full boost. Full boost, it's an absolute <laughs> monster. Yeah, it's brilliant. It would be a shame if we didn't drive it on the road, wouldn't it? Remember that until this morning, this was a delivery mileage car but the exit's that way, so go and have some fun, Dickie. Thank you. set a car like this, it just takes it in its stride. Similarly, the engine is so tractable. It will just trundle along. We went through some amazing little Welsh villages and very tight lanes, and we were you know, literally trundling along at 2,000 RPM, and it pulled fine. So it's such a surprise in that respect. Obviously, you can, you can dial the boost back, and then it's quite a mild mannered machine. But honestly, when you've got that boost boost knob, or the steam wheel as the factory Porsche race drivers used to call it, you really love to feel that massive wall of boost when it kicks in. You just have to be very grown up and very responsible when you're driving this car. We're so used to being spoiled by modern electronics and traction control and stability control and ABS and power steering and all those things. This car has none of those things. So you are entirely responsible for your own destiny. And that's what makes the car such a fabulous thing to drive. You just get completely absorbed in the process. That's what I love about this car is every minute I've spent in it and I've been very fortunate to spend the whole day driving it. I've just gained more and more respect for what it is, what it's capable of, how it feels, how it makes me feel when I drive it. The backstory of the whole Schubert programme is, is fraught with financial difficulties uh, and it, it didn't end well for Vern Schubert and his, and his supercar dream and I, I didn't really appreciate quite what a car this was until I've been fortunate enough to drive it. But, I'm sure there are times, many times, when when Vern wished there wasn't a car in the world with his name on its badge. But 
if there's a message to send to him is that he should be very, very proud of this car because I can honestly say it's the most exciting road car I've ever driven. All good things must come to an end and uh, generous though Simon is, I don't want to abuse that generosity. He gave me a mileage limit and sadly, I think I've run out of miles, so I'm going to have to pull over and uh, reluctantly bring my drive in the ship to an end. I hope they're going to come and pick me up. We're in the middle of nowhere. Simon, it's Dickie. Uh, I've used all my miles. Uh, can you come and pick me up, please?